Good afternoon. J. Michael TX reporting here on a KM keyboard maestro uh, macro that you may find useful. I'm going to show you how to use a uh, JavaScript XPath to click on a hyperlink. So in order to do that, we have to first get the XPath for that hyperlink. And to do that, the easiest way is to use Google Chrome, even if your target browser that you're going to use later is Safari. We're going to use Chrome because it gives us a tool that provides the XPath. So what we're going to do is open the web page of interest in Google Chrome, right click on the link that we're going to want to automate opening, select inspect from the right click context menu. This will open the Chrome developer tool and show us the link and then we'll right click on that link and select copy uh, XPath. So let's get to it. I'm going to switch to Chrome and I have here um, a web page that has a series of statements available and I want to open the first one every time. So uh, I'm just going to right click on that first statement and come down and select inspect. And um, the Chrome developer tool will show. It may show a little differently in your setup because I've arranged it especially for this demo. But you should essentially see this same screen where it talks about developer tools and already highlighted is the link that you right clicked on. And you can verify this by clicking on that link and you see up here it's selected it. If that's not selected then you don't have the right HTML element down here. But I can also see this is an anchor link with the uh, a, a tag. So I am now going to right click on that, copy, come over, copy XPath. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to close Chrome Developer. I'm going to leave Chrome open because I'm going to come back to this in a minute. So we now have the XPath. What we need to do now is, is put this XPath in the keyboard maestro macro. Okay, and I have it open here. And in my example macro, there's this action where you set variable XPath. So I'm just going to paste into that um, action. And there you can see the XPath that, uh, that the Chrome tool copied for us. Okay, so we're, we're ready to execute this uh, macro now. So I'm going to... Uh, go back to Chrome and I'm just going to click out here so that that's not selected and I'm going to trigger my macro okay and I have a little setup here where it's asking me if I want to continue and I'm going to say yes and there you have it it has clicked on that first link which gives me more choices which I will need to process but that's that would be the subject of another demo or another macro. Our objective here was simply to click on the link and to show you that I'm gonna I'm just gonna click out here alright and then I'm gonna manually click on that link and you see I get the same thing okay so that's really all there is to it uh, to get the X path and then to have a macro click on the link to that X path. I hope you find this useful.